I've been perfect for a little easy. I'm one of them, you know, I'm like, man, I was an easy fan, man. Let the right. boy, let the boy get in there. But then when yeah. I seen you, I was like, he did a damn good job. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. if I don't show up, they're going to show out. Greenleaf, right? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Wow, I want to ask you about, you know, I kind of felt bad for, uh, uh, a uh, little easy when when y'all you took the part from it. I know y'all cool now, <laughs> but I'm just saying it, it did. It seemed kind of you know I, Ice Cube son was in that old shade. I'm like this would have been perfect for little easy. I'm one of them you know. I'm like man, I was an easy fan. Man, let the right. boy let the boy get in there. But then when yeah. I seen you, I was like he did a damn good job. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. if I don't show up, they gonna show out. Greenleaf, right? Yeah. So let's talk about that for a minute. We can't have you on here and not talk about straight out of Compton. Shout out to my nigga, uh, uh, what's his name? Well, OG uh, Two Talk. What, oh what yeah, is it? OG Two. I'm um, Compton Menace. Compton Menace. Oh man, that's my yeah, nigga. He, he be on here a lot. That's he my guy. Real one. Solid, yeah. solid, OG, solid. Is it Two Talk? Yeah, yeah. OG Two Talk. Yeah, that's my boy, man. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about it, man. Like, 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 how was it like working with those guys? So, just to be clear about this, right? I was number seven thousand and one. Mm. Wow. They audition people all over the world. Right? So Wait a minute. What number was Lil Easy? I have no idea. Did you even three. get to, I wanted to get <laughs> <laughs> for real. You know what I mean? It, it like, had to be a lot to that though, because mm -hmm. they really was trying to get it right. And I know they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, acting is um it's not as easy as it may seem. You know? I meet people all the time who be like, Man, I can act. Cap. <laughs> Cap. In the words of the great takeoff, cap. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's just not as easy as it seems. You know, like, true, like, if somebody would have fucked it up, it should have been a little easy, if that makes sense. Like, if he should have had the opportunity to mess it up if somebody was going to mess it up. Right. That's hard. I like that. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But F. Gary Gray, I mean, when you think about it, he ain't never missed. He probably That's got right. 11 like or 12 movies. He ain't never missed. Straight classics. A lot of his, I mean, you, when you think about it, Friday was his first movie. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Amazing movie. You understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So he take it real serious. Like, he wasn't sold on O'Shea Jackson Jr. Wasn't sold on him. Wow. At all. What did you he see in How did you know his that? ass off. Because he really? told me straight to my face. He said, just because he looked like you, because I had to do a bunch of chemistry reads, right? Like, after they casted me, I had to do a bunch of different reads with a bunch of different drays, a bunch of different ice cubes, because it was like they wanted to see the camaraderie for real. Mm -hmm. So I chose, like, I thought he was great before I even knew that he was Cube, son. You know, it was obvious that he yeah, looked he a lot looked like Cube. Like, right. But I, I still didn't know, because we was just in the audition phase. It wasn't like, you know what I mean? So, um... I did think he was great. I thought he was natural. See, a lot of people don't know. He went to school. He went to USC for screenwriting. He trained with Susan Batson. I don't know if y'all know who that is, but like she like a celebrity to actors because wow. she's one of the gods. You know what I mean? When it comes to like acting coaches, she dope as a motherfucker. So he trained with her for like two years. Like he, he really had to go hard mm -hmm. and able to, you know, for, for him to be able to like really get that role. Like they, man, listen. They might play that nepotism shit with them white people, but they was not playing that shit with, with Q. Men? No, man. He better show wow. us. Wow. So when what 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 made you? Cause you 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 and him kind of, you know y'all you and O'Shea kind of, yeah. you, you know y'all hung like. What made you pretty much tight with him on the set? He just a real nigga, you know what I mean? And like a lot of people get that confused with like being a street nigga, and he not that at all. Not from the streets, none of that, you know. Genuine. But yes, just genuine. And always him, he never going to be different. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just always the same person, and he just always going to be Shay, and he just super cool. Like, like once we figured out that we was kind of in the cool stage when we were still doing these chemistry reads, because this shit went on for about a week, mm. and it was like, you ever been to Barry's? <laughs> Like, what the fuck is Barry's? It's like the pizza spot. I'm like, never even heard of Barry's. He's like, nigga, you never had, nigga, we going now. <laughs> and he was like, that's like saying you never had in and out I'm like, what the fuck is in and out You know what I mean? It was my first time in California. I don't know about none of this. Yeah. I was like, nigga, you never had in and out 
Come on, we leaving right now. You know what I mean? And it's hard. Ever since that car ride, we just been joined at the hip. Wow. And was Barry's really brother. good? Yeah, it was fire. They got like this lobster pizza. It's, and I don't even really fuck with lobster like that. Like, Because y'all know lobster really got famous on the fluky style. Y'all know this, right? Mm-hmm. So in the 60s, well... In the 50s and 40s, they used to, you know, when they were sending all the gangsters to, to like, Alcatraz and all of this shit, they was giving them bottom feeders, you know what I mean? Shrimp, lobster, crawfish, shit like that. Just shit that they could just go fish for and just give it to them. Real cheap shit. So, when they got out of jail, when they started making these um, these restaurants and these fronts and shit to wash their money, they put lobster and, and shit in there as a joke. And jacked up the prices because they never thought nobody would pay for it. Yeah. But they did it like as a joke. It's like right. the same thing as us putting ramen noodles on a, on a menu and say it's forty five dollars. Like it's that type of shit. So that's really how it became a delicacy in like in wow. like in like that's the hard, 60s. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, as I like a joke. I, mean, I, was I, know a prank. That. I actually like that, man. But mm-hmm. going back to like just the set, like when you. I interviewed uh, B, uh, BG Knockout, mm-hmm. and he was telling me that one of the things that he didn't like about the movie was the way it depicted Easy E in that house when you, when when you were in that house on that scene where the house got smaller and he moved and downgraded it. Seemed uh-huh. it was a smaller house. It was uh-huh. a, it, and they say that part never did happen that way. And, right. and and they had issues with the way it was being depicted just because of who Easy E is and what right. he meant to them because that was a partner. Right. Damn, you know, it's just like, why Why do you think they pushed the narrative the way they did in the movie? That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's like, for me, I don't want to speak ill of these dudes because I'm not as close to them as Easy was. He know them a lot better. But to me, it seemed like they was pushing their narrative. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it seemed like to me. It was like they was making themselves seem more than who they are. Wow. And then, you know, writing like watering his part down. That's did, what it looked like to didn't me. Didn't Easy's mm. son want to play that yeah, part? He we did. heard about it. Now yeah. I don't know the, but I heard he tried to play because you know Ice Cube's son played his part, right? And did he try out for it or did he I, try? I assume he did. I went and read for Ice Cube part as well. You did, yeah, because I know F. Gary Gray personally. Yeah, absolutely. So you was gonna do the Ice Cube I part? I tried. Yeah, even though I ain't got no acting experience or nothing, but I tried. I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? You ran your ass up I there. I ran my ass. Everybody <laughs> did. It was in the middle of L.A., man. You had a million Easy E's all around the park, man. Like a gang of wigs and, yeah, everybody tried. Man. So, so, like, when you was playing these parts, did anybody ever say anything like that to oh, you? Oh, of course. Um, God rest his soul, but Layla was there for the whole thing. Okay. Right? Uh-huh. And, um, you know, he, he started the group Above the Law. So, originally, Easy. um used to score his dope from from Layla, right? But his cousin had just got killed by some other blood niggas. And, you know, Layla was a blood and shit. So he was like, kind of felt like he was setting himself up fucking with him. So he was like, meet me at the studio and that's where we could do our business. This is how easy ended up meeting Dre. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because Layla always kind of thought Dre was a little, like he wasn't fucking with what Dre was on at that time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, cause even though he was solid, you know, they they had the little the, the shiny shit, and they was doing a little different. Like they was oh, on they a different was over time. They in them spandex, nigga. Yeah, they was, they was, they I was, told Lonzo about time. that. I said, Lonzo, <laughs> you had Dre over there in them damn spandex, and yeah. Easy Neal was laughing at him at the end. Right, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, uh, what was so, the name of that crew? World oh, class records. World class record crew. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. So you know. Layla wasn't really fucking with that. You know what I mean? It was real street niggas and all that. You know, but Easy. I guess, you know, saw something different in Dre. You know what I'm saying? And was like, fuck it, you know? I invest a little bread, and that's kind of how it all started happening, you know? And um, Layla told me everything, bro. He told me everything, everything, real stories, you know? But I think people have to understand that when you're making a movie, some of this shit is visual. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's hard to say a motherfucker rich, and they still got the same house. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.